He suffers from a rare disorder, but his illness is not keeping him from taking part in a cross-country crusade on a bicycle. Can you imagine the courage? Mm. The race across America is to raise awareness and to find a cure. Netta Irampour is live in East Sacramento with Inspiring Doesn't Quite Say It, Netta. This is quite a story. It sure is, Simon Palace. Now, to hear no treatment, no cure has to be the most frightening words to hear from a doctor. Well, Sean and Kyle are suffering from Friedrich's ataxia. It's life-threatening, debilitating, and incurable. But these two cyclists you see here, along with a couple other of their friends, are about to start a race that's sure to make the nation hear their cry for a cure. Ready? It's his heart that pushes him to pedal but his heart is slowly wearing down. With this disease, you feel trapped a lot of times because you just can't do the things that you used to be able to do and it's a real helpless feeling. Kyle Bryant has Friedrich's ataxia, a rare disease discovered just over a decade ago. No treatment, no cure. It affects balance and coordination and it has symptoms like scoliosis, diabetes, in life-shortening heart complications. Every day his muscles get weaker. You're losing these things that you hold so dear. And for me it was baseball, basketball, golf, skiing. But he has not lost his ability to ride. Kyle gearing up for the nation's most grueling bike race. With the trike it allows me to experience sport and physical activity like I used to before the disease. 3,000 miles cross country from Oceanside to Annapolis, followed by 13 people who share his dream to inspire awareness and a cure. There's a lot of potential for things to go wrong. Um, I'm really mostly worried about flat tires, broken chains, and uh, broken spokes. Friends, family, even strangers pack up for this nine-day journey, hoping the 5,000 others in the U.S. with this disease know that they are not alone. They go, hey, my son or daughter was just diagnosed six months ago. And what you're doing brings us hope. That's what I'll be thinking about on the road. I'm constantly amazed at the way he's taken this this whole issue. Um, you know, it's uh, I'm not sure that that I could do what he does. So he's he's really my hero. <laughs> This humble hero may ride close to the ground, but he feels the sky's the limit. The more people that know, the more, the more attention our disease gets and the more research we can do. Back here live, they're taking these two trikes with them and five bicycles and some vans and an RV for their team of 17 that's going again on this non-stop journey across the country. They've already raised a million dollars in other rides that they've done. This one is intended solely to let people know about this disease. Well, well they, they hit home with that story tonight, yeah, Netta, and we you, just uh, cannot wish them enough luck. You inspired us. Yeah. It's hard to find a dry in the house here right now. Yeah. Okay. Thank well, thanks, you. Thanks, Netta. We do appreciate it. Okay, we're going to play with your emotions.